Welcome back to Explainer. Today we're diving into an important topic, the nine dangerous goods classes. Understanding these classes is crucial for safety in various industries, so let's break them down in simple terms. Our first class is Class 1, Explosives. These are materials that can explode when subjected to heat, shock, or pressure. Think dynamite, or even fireworks. These items are labeled with specific numbers indicating their level of danger. For example, dynamite is classified as Class 1.1, indicating it's highly explosive and dangerous. Explosives are a critical category to be aware of because they have the potential to cause immense damage and harm if mishandled. They are often used in mining, construction, and the military, where precise control is essential to avoid accidents. Now let's talk about Class 2, gases. These are substances stored as compressed gases or as liquefied gases under pressure. Examples include propane for grilling or helium for balloons. Propane tanks are a common Class 2 example. Mishandling them can lead to leaks and potential explosions. This class is vital for industries such as gas supply, chemical manufacturing, and even the food industry, where gases like carbon dioxide are used to carbonate beverages. Moving on to Class 3, flammable liquids. These are liquids that can easily catch fire. Gasoline and alcohol are classic examples. Imagine spilling gasoline and then accidentally igniting it with a spark. That's why it's classified as dangerous. Flammable liquids are widespread in everyday life, from the fuel in our cars to the alcohol in our cocktails. Proper storage, transportation, and handling are crucial to prevent accidents and fires. Class 4 is flammable solids. These are materials that can ignite easily. Think of items like matches, sulfur, or even some types of metals. Matches are a classic example of Class 4 materials. They can catch fire from friction or heat. Flammable solids are often encountered in manufacturing, particularly in industries that involve machining, welding, or cutting metal. Proper precautions must be taken to avoid accidental fires. Class 5. Oxidizing substances. These substances can cause other materials to combust more readily. Peroxides and some fertilizers fall into this category. Peroxides, often used in hair bleach, are classified as Class 5 because they can react violently with other substances. Oxidizing substances are frequently used in agriculture and chemical manufacturing. They are essential for various processes, but careful handling and storage are necessary to prevent unwanted reactions. Class 6. Toxic and Infectious Substances These include materials that can cause harm to living organisms. Examples are pesticides, chemicals used in laboratories, and infectious substances. Pesticides fall into this class because they can be harmful to humans and the environment if mishandled. Toxic and infectious substances are of great concern in healthcare, research, and agriculture. Proper containment and protective measures are crucial when dealing with these materials to prevent harm to both humans and the environment. Now, Class 7. Radioactive Materials. These materials emit harmful radiation. Medical isotopes and nuclear fuel are typical examples. Radioactive materials like uranium require special handling due to their potential health risks. Class 7 materials are primarily associated with the nuclear industry and healthcare. They are used in cancer treatment, imaging, and energy production. Strict regulations and safety protocols are in place to minimize radiation exposure. Class 8 is corrosive substances. These can corrode or eat away at other materials. Battery acid and some cleaning products are examples. Battery acid is classified as Class 8 because it can damage skin, clothing, and even metal surfaces. Corrosive substances are common in industries such as manufacturing, automotive, and cleaning. Proper handling and storage are essential to prevent accidents and injuries. Finally, Class 9, Miscellaneous Dangerous Goods. This class covers materials that don't fit into the other eight classes but still pose risks. Examples include dry ice and asbestos. Dry ice, while not explosive or corrosive, can release dangerous carbon dioxide gas if mishandled in a closed container. Class 9 materials encompass a wide range of substances with various hazards. They require specific precautions and labeling to ensure safe handling and transportation. In summary, understanding the nine dangerous goods classes is essential for ensuring the safety of people and the environment in various industries. From explosives to corrosive substances, 
Each class presents unique challenges and requires specific precautions. By being aware of these classifications and following proper protocols, we can minimize the risks associated with these potentially hazardous materials and ensure a safer working environment for all. So, there you have it, the nine dangerous goods classes. Remember, these classifications are crucial for the safe transportation, handling, and storage of potentially hazardous materials. Stay safe, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more informative content.